Hi. Hi. We are live again on Tuesday, June 16th, and we have been going live um, almost every day for about three months. April, May, June. Yeah, because um, when the whole corona thing happened and we were all staying at home, I thought it might be a good idea to talk about how we do life at home and that it is doable and you can have smoothly running days and it can be fun because we have fun. I've always felt like we had an we enjoyable life at home. Um, we homeschooled. We have nine children and they're all, no, they're not all grown, but they're mostly grown. <laughs> I only have three left at home. The youngest is going to be 13 tomorrow. Yeah. Can't believe that. You don't have any babies anymore. They're yeah. all old. Oh my goodness. <gasps> yeah. Teenager. The last one's going to be a teenager. Isn't that crazy? It is. Um, because it feels like I was just doing a whole lot of prepping for the next baby. And that's what Bridget is working on. Prepping for the next baby. I am 33 weeks pregnant today with my second. And I'm in full prep mode. So on Monday, I created a freezer meal binder of recipes and a plan for all the freezer meals I'm gonna make. I made a giant Costco list and then today me and mom went up to Costco and we got all of the And things, Walmart. Costco and Walmart. And we got all the ingredients for my freezer meals and I stocked up on household necessities like TP, paper towels, Kleenex, laundry detergent, uh, dishwasher Di detergent, all diaper, those. Diapers and wipes. Diapers and wipes, <laughs> that's an important one. Um, yeah. I got paper plates and plastic silverware so I don't have to do dishes after the baby comes for at least a little while. Did you get napkins? I don't remember getting napkins. No, but we got paper towels, so that's at okay. least something. Right. So um, that's what we did today. And tomorrow yeah. we're going to make a bunch of freezer food. So we're going to try and do a lot of videos tomorrow about the recipes that we are making. And sooner or later, Bridget will format her binder of recipes into something that is I'll general. make it into a printable for you guys. That way you can get on get in on the goodness. So even if you're not having a baby, it's really awesome to have freezer meals tucked away. I mean, and yeah. then if you're going to have a busy day or anything. If you don't want to think about supper, just pull one out and throw it in the slow cooker. Yes. So make life a little easier. Tell us some of these freezer meals that you are making and um, what's different from the last time because we did yeah. this about a year ago we did this um i had my first Actually, baby in may of last year so i think we did it in april last time yeah i remember we did the same sort of deal like we spent a week um doing the shopping making the food cleaning bridget's house i was not nearly as prepared for freezer meal day last time you know i i felt like i was i think me and my sister because we'd done it before. <laughs> you guys knew what you were doing. And my sister still had her tried and true um, recipes. So yeah. we kind of took her plan and did it last time. Well, now Bridget knows more <laughs> I do. this time around. We about, learned. <laughs> about, um, well, what? I knew what, well, because we did it last time, now I know what we liked. Um, my biggest mistake last time was I didn't have as big of a variety of recipes, so I made a lot of meatballs, and I made a lot of beer ox and stuff like that, and then we just got tired of that kind of food. So this time... I don't know how I can get tired of meatballs. I love meatballs. It's possible. I love meatballs too, but I do not want to look at one right now. <laughs> we had them too much. And, well, and then I proceeded to make them too much. After. Cause after because they were easy they are easy you just mix it up and make the balls and bake them but I got tired of it <laughs> and so they're not on the plan this time they're not so this time I have oh almost 10 different recipes and I'm gonna do between two and four of each of them and that way we have variety and then last time too I only did recipes with like ground beef so this time I mixed it up with ground beef you did steak no chicken? and chicken. I didn't do any chicken last time. Huh. It was all ground beef stuff. We are beef producers. Well, and we had a beef in the freezer last year. So that's probably so why. So I just, 
I didn't have a plan last time, really. I just grabbed a bunch of ground beef out of my freezer and showed up at mom's house. And I was like, let's make freezer <laughs> meals. It was a little more planned than that. But apparently it was on In beef. my memory, it was less planned. <laughs> um, my favorite thing from last time, though, that I'm doing again this time is breakfast burritos. Yum. Because... I can eat them anytime during the day, not just... I did. I had them for lunch a lot, too. But I loved them, and they're pretty simple. I think we just did egg and sausage, and then potato is in there. We did not get potatoes today. Do you have potatoes? No. Ha! We're going to have to go get potatoes before tomorrow. Um, not a problem. We can oh, run to our we small can do town hash browns. store. If we have yeah. enough hash browns, will you do yes. that? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, we'll do um, breakfast burritos, which are really great. I like them with... Um, taco sauce or take a taco sauce I was buying that stuff on the weekly after I had my last baby because I had made well I'd made breakfast burritos and beef and green burritos and I like taco sauce on both of those so and I'm doing both of those again this time and it didn't bother baby no not at all mm -hmm. spicy baby and she likes I mean she still likes that kind of stuff I'm trying to think of what she does I don't know. She's not a very picky baby. No, she's not. I've seen her eat all But I've of tried to, you know, feed her a variety of foods. There you go. Um, but then a few other things that we're going to be making are sheet pan fajitas, chicken fajitas, and I'm also going to do those with steak. So adding some variety, not just chicken and not just beef. We're going to do both. Um, okay, so is that something you put in a Ziploc bag? And then yes. That's what I'm excited about because this recipe... You just mix it all together, and the chicken is raw, but it's sliced, you know, thin for fajitas. You mix it all together, put it in a gallon Ziploc bag, and freeze it, and then... Put it on the sheet pan? Yep, when you're ready oven. to do it, you just okay. throw it on the sheet pan and bake it. Sounds easy. Um, one thing I should mention about the recipes, Bridget is allergic to oh, that's true. dairy, and so is Brinley. So My daughter. All the recipes are dairy-free. They are. Or they have cheese and I just don't use it. Because usually with recipes, cheese you add at the end. So in my family and growing up, you don't add cheese to the recipe. You add it at the table if you want it. Yeah. Um, um, let me just tell. I messed up the other day. Oh, no. Our strawberry. Well, you were there for it. Yes, our, I was. Yeah, our strawberry <laughs> patch is, is producing right now. It's awesome. It's not enough that I'm going to make a big batch of jam. But we did have strawberry shortcake the other day and I think all the kids it was Sunday all the kids all of us were there were here they all went and picked strawberries for strawberry shortcake and stemmed them and I made the cake okay so um I am gluten free so I made it gluten free and Bridget and Brinley are dairy free so I made it dairy free but what did I do <laughs> I put butter in it I you used almond I milk I used milk. almond milk <laughs> and then ruined it with butter oh I don't know how many times over the years I've done that. That like has made something part way and then mess it up at the start end. Start out some other it dairy. with yeah. goat's milk or something else, and then add the butter. Yeah, sorry, sorry again, Bridget. I survived. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. So what else? Beef and broccoli. Yeah, that's um. Is that another? That's Chinese. That's going to be a Chinese food, but that's another. You put it in a Ziploc bag and then just dump it on a sheet pan. Or you can fry it in a wok or a large skillet. It would be less messy on sheet, sheet pan in the oven. Well, easy, too, and then you and don't easy. have to stand there at the stove. Right, you don't want to stand there at the stove. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, taco soup, is that a dump in the slow cooker? It is. That's a dump in a slow cooker. Everything I chose was something that you can just dump and put in the oven or dump it in your slow cooker. Because I didn't want to have to assemble anything. I didn't want to have to stand at the stove. Um, yeah. Postpartum, I'm going to have two under two. I want to make life as simple as I possibly can. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, and then we have a Pioneer Woman recipe for Sloppy Joe. Yes, that is... I have not had her Sloppy Joe recipe. It's our favorite Sloppy Joe recipe. I mean, for years we've done it. I learned With beans, I, yeah, because uh, that stretches it and makes it stretches go it for a big family. Putting in, in it a little bit of barbecue flavor. That's how I would make it. And Ground that's beef, how I did it for a long time. Baked beans and like a barbecue flavor. 
And onions and garlic. And- um, but I think I burnt my family out on doing it that way. Mm-hmm. So then when I switched and tried the paleo... Apparently not everybody grows up stretching meals with meats. <laughs> when I uh, switched and tried the Pioneer Woman recipe for the first time, my husband loved it. Because, well, it was different than my usually usual sloppy joes. And then it's just a really Is it, Does yummy, it have like a southwestern flavor? Spicy? That's what I'm imagining. It's a little bit spicier. Um, it depends on whether... Or, well, how spicy I make it depends on, you know, the kids. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so I okay. try not to make it too spicy, but then it has, you know, green bell peppers and stuff like that in it, so it's pretty... Yum. It's pretty yummy. It sounds very different than what I made. Okay, cube steaks with gravy. That, how, I mean, how do you make gravy and it's going to be in the... It's a so it's a slow cooker recipe. Oh, so you it makes its it, own gravy? Yeah, so you dump everything, and I think... Corn, you, there's cornstarch in there too, I think. Oh, um, and so you dump everything in the slow cooker, um, and I think you add some beef broth or whatever, and it cooks all day. Maybe you add the cornstarch at the end to thicken it, because I think at the end you take the meat out, and then all the juices and everything are in the crock pot, and then you quick add some thickener or something. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, I thought that didn't sound too difficult. No. No, sounds sounds easy. And I'm excited about the sesame chicken. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Yeah. Um I have two recipes in here that are kind of Chinese food. That's the beef and broccoli and the sesame chicken. And um they're easy recipes, but also what I love about Chinese food is that you serve it over rice and so then it's really filling. Yeah. And <laughs> my husband can eat enough he for eats three men. And more. he's skinny. <laughs> well, he works hard. He burns those calories, and supper is our biggest meal of the day. So he really yeah. tucks it in. Yeah. So when it's a recipe with rice or recipe with potatoes and stuff, then we usually have leftovers because it's more filling. There was something to kind of stretch it. <laughs> Whereas if it's um, like my sloppy joes with no beans, that I typically eat. eat eats it all. Well, and I don't make a huge recipe either. Usually I do one or one and a half pounds of beef. And that will eat all in one meal. But it also doesn't help that uh, I've been pregnant or nursing for the past two years. So I've been eating a lot too. (laughs) So I make dinner and it'll be enough for four to six people according to the recipe. And between me and my husband and my toddler, we will eat it all. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay, so today we also bought easy foods to have during the postpartum period with a toddler. Yes. We bought toddler food today. We did. And freezer waffles. My family really likes freezer waffles. Um, Last time we made our own. We got a big thing of pancake mix and we made made our own. But, I mean... The Walmart freezer waffles are really cheap anyway, so this time I was like, let's save a little effort and just buy some. So I got like three boxes of those. (laughs) Okay, and um, breakfast sausages. Yes. Instant oatmeal. uh, Stuff for smoothies. Yes, I got frozen fruit for smoothies. Um, Um, What kind of protein do you use in that? um, I use, well... Most people use, make smoothies with yogurt, I think, but I use just milk, and then I add chia seeds. Chia seeds, okay. Um, so that adds some protein. And, and she uses stuff. goat milk. I do. Um, sandwich stuff. I got sandwich meat. Um, and so, chicken salad. Oh yeah, so I got canned. I got canned chicken. Oh, at Costco. At Costco. So it's a big thing. Like, I think it has six or eight cans. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um. And that's really easy. I just take a can of chicken, add some Miracle Whip, add some relish, shred up the chicken with a fork really quick. Super easy and fast lunch. Yeah. I usually put it over salad, or you can make it a sandwich. Yeah. And then because I'm a rebel, I put a bunch of Tabasco on it. <laughs> She's a spicy girl. Okay, and Madras lentils, um, that's from Costco. Those are another really easy, and really likes toddler-friendly... And grilled burgers from frozen from frozen um, patties. Okay, so we didn't from, get those. Do you have those already? I did. I got a box of well, I got the box of thirty-two frozen 
patties from Walmart last time. And that's something I can add on to my Walmart order really easily. And then, honestly, that box will probably last us a month. Because we don't make burgers that often. Maybe once a week. Mm -hmm. Or it's something that I'll make a burger for lunch or something. Because it's easy to... I try not to do them in the house because it smokes up the kitchen really bad. Yeah. But when you have a gas grill on the deck, it's so easy. Just turn it oh, on. Yeah. Okay, it's hot. Grill the burgers. Grill the burgers. Yeah. It is. Grilling burgers is so easy. I'm really excited about this one. Cilantro lime chicken. Yes. That makes really good chicken tacos. Well, I don't think I've done this recipe, but I've done a really similar one before. This recipe looks fantastic. I'm excited about it. I love anything with lime and cilantro, I was, I was going to say the same thing. You put cilantro and lime on anything, and I'm game. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's um, that's our plan for tomorrow is to prep all these food. Um, you know what? Last time we made muffins for you. We did. We made um, breakfast egg muffins. or I thought we also made like some oatmeal muffins, too. No, we were going to, but we didn't. Or something. I don't know. Well, we'll have to do that sometime. But it is summer, and who wants to turn on the oven and bake when it's... Yeah. But last time we did, we made those egg cups. Um, and I liked them. My problem with those were that they... We made a lot, and they tend to freezer burn. Oh, yes. Plus, I kind of got tired of them, because I seriously made a lot of them. Because yeah. they're so easy. Yeah. But they were really good. Okay. Um, and that's something we can do. It was basically later. like a miniature egg casserole, but you do them in a muffin tin. They Sounds were, good. I mean, I put whatever filling I wanted in the muffin I tin and I then poured the egg that. over it. Someone else made those. I must have. Anyway. You helped a little bit. Towards the end, at least, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. That was a year ago. It's, <laughs> it's a fun thing to do. Um, gather your people and just do a big project do a big food project and um, that's what I remember about that day was it was fun we had fun I did anyway <laughs> I think um last my last pregnancy cooking meat made me really nauseous oh, yeah. so I think I was pretty miserable that day actually <laughs> I didn't Oops. do any of the actual meat cooking but I was in the room and so, like, the smell and everything. Yeah. I forgot about that, because I have not <gasps> had that thing? problem at all this pregnancy. Oh, good, good. I mean, maybe a little bit in the first couple weeks, but beyond that, it hasn't bothered me. But, yeah, last... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so I was nauseous that whole day. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor thing. I survived. Alrighty. Well, if you have any questions for us, let us know. Otherwise, stay tuned because tomorrow we'll be up, we will be updating you on how it goes. Yeah. We'll keep it going on our stories and yes. take videos. and Yeah. We need to have Brooke get involved in putting all that together too. Yeah. And then in the next couple months, keep your eyes out because I'm going to make this all into a downloadable for you. Woohoo! And you can have your own binder of freezer meals. Yes. For prepping for a baby. Um... Don't we have something like that on the free resource library, though? I don't think we have freezer meals, but we do have a post on... That's what it is I'm thinking of. We have a post on, I mean, stocking, stocking your freezer, easy things that you can do. Things like doubling a batch and freezing half of it, or... There's a um, post on that, on getting ready. I don't think it's specifically baby ready, or baby... I thought there was a post related. about... Well, I do have a post on how to prepare for postpartum. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. It um, includes making freezer meals, but it doesn't have anything specific to the how to it's of it. It's just a whole bunch of ideas of things that you did that were helpful. Yes. Okay. So we should review that because... We should. I we should. might forget. We might, we might be forgetting <laughs> about something. We'll see what I did last year. And then yes. we can update that post as well with fresh yes, information. Yes, update it. Yeah. Things that I'm doing differently this time, maybe... Or ideas you've gathered. And then in the next year, look out for a post on how to survive two under two. Because <laughs> once I figure it out, I'm going to be writing it all down. Yeah. I have sisters. Share so the love. Yeah. Any tips that I can remember and share all. Yeah. Because 
it, it happens. I mean, oh my word, how many people do you know or how many of you have had that two under two? How many times have three you under had three. two under two? Twice? Well, I always had a two-year-old. But I mean, like, how, because there's, isn't, don't you have two sets that are 18 months apart? Yeah. Ellie and Matthew and then Brooke and Brian? Yes. And um, Brinley and this baby will be 15 months apart. Yes. I always said, though, that the hardest time was when I had three under four. A four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a newborn. Because a two-year-old... A a two-year-old and a four-year-old are not very helpful. Um, Four-year-olds can... They can be. But... That was the hardest time for me personally. Once I had kids older than the age of four, they were helpful and they could run and get this and run and get that or, yeah. you know, s- stop something or start something. I mean, they, they were helpful. Um, th- so that's, I felt like, I, I felt like there was so much on me when I had a four-year-old, a two-year-old and a newborn. That's true. That was the hardest time. Well, plus four-year-olds... They're still figuring everything out, and they're still so dependent on you. Yeah. And they always want your attention, or they yes. want a snack. Or they're asking or, why. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I've been asked why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would be a rich, rich woman. Yes. And you would be richer times nine. <laughs> <laughs> Four-year-olds are fun, though. They are. It's a very fun So age. fun. Um, but yeah, once, once, I had, once I had older kids, it got easier way easier it was four two and a newborn and you I were the newborn I was so helpful once I was older once yes you were <laughs> you you were weren't you lucky to have me I was so lucky to have you <laughs> I will not tell any naughty <laughs> stories about you good because I was a perfect <laughs> child <laughs> uh, I think I was ornery she was she was but I love her anyway I was fun she was fun. You don't okay, the ornery kid, kids right? are fun. <laughs> I mean, it's part you have to discipline them and guide them, but it's also part trying really hard not to laugh at their <laughs> antics <laughs> and the things they're trying to pull or do. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining us, and we will see y'all tomorrow.